So today we're going to cover the uh, most of the rest of the chapter on bone development. And so um, we went over yesterday, we looked at the structure of bone, we talked about how you classify bones, um, we looked at the microscopic anatomy of bones, and so on. So today what we're going to do is we're going to talk about how they go about growing, because if you look at this slide, it's pretty obvious that if you look here, this is a x-ray of someone who's about two years old or so. Well, if you look at that and you compare the, the 14 year old, obviously they're different. Well, for one thing, they're, the bonds are longer, they're bigger, but they're not just bigger, they're not just longer. They also are different shape, because if you just took this and extended the length of it, it wouldn't be the same shape as this. And so we're going to have to create this shape in here to make it match um, what we're looking at or, or the, um, the structure that we need. And so not only are we going to change the, the uh, length and even the diameter, but we're also going to change the shape so that this becomes something that looks like this, and then it becomes something that looks like this. Well, remember when we were talking about how cartilage grows, and we said that cartilage grows two different ways. Well, bone is the same way. It also grows two different ways. But again, here's a, a PET scan of this. And again, if you look at these uh, bones right here, they're very obviously different than these bones and so on all the way through. So when you look at bone development, it happens in stages. And so the first stage is going to happen before you're born. And so it's going to uh, be while the female is pregnant. And this says embryo, but it really should say fetus. But anyway, there's fetal development. And then when you're born, we go and we get so on all the way until you're an adult. So child, puberty all the way till you reach your adult height. And then you stop growing, but that doesn't mean bones change, they continue to change. We're constantly remodeling bones. So when you look at it, it happens in these stages. And so the first stage is look like this. So if you look at this, there's a 13 week old um, fetus and all the way through. But look how different that skull looks than that one. Not just in size, but it looks different. The shapes are different and so on. And the same thing is going to be true if you look at this versus looking at an adult. They're going to be very, very different from each other. And so there's a whole lot of changes that it goes through. But again, it happens in steps or stages. And so the first stage is called bone formation. So bone formation happens during pregnancy, and it begins during the eighth week of gestation, the eighth week of pregnancy. And so around the eighth week, what's going to happen is we're going to get our very, very first bone cells. Before that, there are no bones at all. So embryos have no bones. But as soon as they get their first bone cells, we change their name, and we don't call them embryos anymore. We call them uh, a fetus. And that's the difference between an embryo and a fetus. And then that happens all the way through pregnancy. And then the baby's born, and we get what's called postnatal. Postnatal means after birth. Bone growth. And that happens all the way until you reach your adult height. So for females, that's about age 18 or 19, and for males, it's about age 25. And then at that point, you stop getting any taller. You stop, the bones stop getting any longer. But they don't stop changing because they change throughout your life. But this is called remodeling. And then we also get, might get repair. But that's lifelong. It happens all the way until, until death. So three stages. So if you look at this, this is a fetus. And so this fetus has been stained in such a way that you can see bones. So the bones are stained orange. And so we can see these bones. 
So if you look here, that's bone, but see, this is not bone. There's no bone in there. There's no bone in here where, where there's none of this stain. But this is bone, and this is bone, and so on. Well, even in this low magnification picture, you can see something different happening here. Look at this bone up here in the skull. And if you look at these bones and then, and then compare them to, say, this bone, do you see a difference? Does anybody see any difference between those two? Just by looking at it, you can see something is different. Anybody tell what it is? Well, this one, if you look at it, is speckly. Look at it. It's speckled. But if you look at this one, look at it, it's not speckled, it's solid. So in other words, something different is happening here than is happening here. And if you look through here, you can see these bones are solid. These bones are solid looking. But if I look here, they look speckled again. They look speckled. And so this speckled look versus this solid look means that there's something different. They're growing in different ways. If we blow that up, you can see even here is a better picture. Everybody see these speckles over here? You can see them. They're like, like little dots all in here. But look at this. No speckles at all. It's solid. And that's because bones grow two different ways, or they develop two different ways. One of these ways is called intramembraneous. Intramembraneous ossification. Ossification just means bone growth. But look at this word, intramembraneous. What that literally means is inside a membrane inside a membrane. So before we have any bones, we're going to build a membrane. And then we're going to put bone inside it. And so we're going to get this membrane forming first. And it's this thick, fibrous membrane. And then the bones are going to form inside it. So anywhere you see this speckled look like that, or like this here, anywhere you see this speckled look, that's intramembraneous ossification. And you can see it even better in this picture. That's intramembraneous ossification. And the bones that form this way are the flat bones. So remember the, the shapes that we talked about? We had long and short, and we had flat. So flat bones are things like the bones of the skull. Those are flat bones. Ribs, those are flat bones. The clavicles, which are your collar bones, those are flat bones. Any bone that forms uh, is this flat forms this way, and they're going to look speckled on this stain. And so if we go back here, you can see that. There are the ribs. Here are the clavicles. There's the skull bones. Those are the ones that form this way. Any questions about that? So that's intramembraneous. What does intramembraneous mean? I told you what it means inside a membrane. So that's one way in which bones develop. But there's a second way. And this is called endochondral ossification. So again, ossification just means bone growth or bone development. Endochondral means inside cartilage. So it's not a membrane, it's cartilage. So cartilage is going to form first. And then what's going to happen is we're going to replace that cartilage with bone. The cartilage is hyaline cartilage. So what we're going to get is a model of the bone built out of cartilage. And then we're going to replace it with bone. And so when we look at this picture, any weird thing where it's solid looking, like this, or this, or this, that's 
endochondral ossification. Look, solid looking. They're here and here. And so most of the bones of the skeleton are produced this way, and all long bones are produced this way. So remember the other uh, shape categories. So these are flat. Most of the others and all long bones are formed by this endochondral ossification. So there's two ways in which bone develops. Any questions about this? So if we go back and look at our fetus, hopefully you can pick out without knowing anything about the names of bones or anything. You can pick out which ones are developed which way. Can everybody do that? Can everybody see the difference between this solid look and this speckled look over here? Any questions? Okay, well, we're going to talk about intramembraneous ossification first. So what we're first we're going to have to do is we're going to have to build a brain. And here's this membrane. You can see it from here all the way down. It goes off the slide over here. But we're going to build a membrane first. And then what's going to happen is we're going to build bone inside it. So look, this this weird shaped pink thing that you see in here, this is bone growing in here. That is bone. The rest of it, though, is still a membrane. But this part is bone, and it's growing inside this membrane. And so let's see how that happens. Again, if we look at it, here's the membrane right here. That's all membrane. That's not bone. But inside that, this grew, and this is bone. This is bone over here. So let's see what it looks like. We're going to start out with a membrane. Here's our membrane. Look, it has a lot of collagen. It's got this ground substance in it. It's pretty flat, so it's like a sheet, if you will, sort of, sort of looks like this, thin like this, but it's a membrane. It's a flat sheet that looks like this. And so we have a lot of collagen in it. We also have cells in here, and a lot of the cells are fibroblasts because these are going to build these fibers, but some of them are these still mesenchyme cells. Everybody remember mesenchyme? Mesenchyme is this undifferentiated connective tissue, and it can become any connective tissue. And so all the connective tissues, remember, there are things like dense irregular, dense regular, there's adipose, there's all of that, but there's also bone. So in other words, mesenchyme can become bone. So what's going to happen is some of these mesenchyme cells are going to change. So that one, maybe, is going to turn into an osteoblast. Everybody remember osteoblasts from the last time we met? What do osteoblasts do? They build what? They build bone. That's exactly right. So look, it's not a mesenchyme cell anymore. It's going to turn into an osteoblast. And so look, these mesenchyme cells have changed. They have become these cells. And these osteoblasts are going to begin to secrete the materials necessary to build bone. They're then going to secrete minerals, and it's going to become attached to these fibers. These minerals, all this stuff that you need to build bone, is called osteoid. And so what's going to happen is nowhere else but just right here, this is going to turn into bone. This over here is still a membrane. This over here is still a membrane. But that little area right there is now going to become bone. It's going to turn hard. 
It's, these cells are going to secrete this osteoid. We're going to get what's called an ossification center. In other words, a place where bone is being built. But it doesn't just happen in one spot. Look, it happens here, but it also happens over here in a different part of the membrane. And it also happens over here in a different part of the membrane and over here. So remember our membrane is this flat structure that looks like this. So here's a spot that has become bone and here's another spot that turns into bone and here's another spot. And look, what does that remind you of? It should remind you of speckles. So when we go back and look at that embryo, what we're seeing here is this flat membrane right there is a flat membrane and every one of these little speckles is one of those little tiny ossification centers but there's places in between them that are not bone and that's why it looks speckled so we started out with this membrane no bone none whatsoever but remember around the eighth week of gestation, some of these cells are going to change and they're going to turn into osteoblasts. As soon as those osteoblasts form, they're going to start laying down bone and we're going to get an ossification center. But again, it's not in one place. It's in many, many, many places. And every one of these little places is going to be a little hard, section of bone and so it's going to look speckled but they don't stop they keep growing so they start growing in these directions like this and this one grows like this and this one grows and so on well as they grow as they lay down bone this cell right here is going to be completely surrounded by bone and there's no place for this cell to put any more bone down. It's going to be solid bone all around it. So that cell, it can't lay down any more bone. It's going to change and it's going to become an osteocyte. Everybody remember what an osteocyte is? What do they do? They don't build bone. What do they do? No, not destroy. That's osteoclast. What does osteocyte do? It maintains. So look, here's our little speckle right here. That's our ossification center. And here's another one. And here's another one. And so we're getting these growing toward each other. And it looks a little bit like this. There's our little ossification center. And look, here are osteoblasts. They're building the bone but some bone cells are going to get trapped in the middle and those bone cells are going to change and become osteoclasts and or sorry osteocytes and they look like this but look these are going to continue to build bone so the bones going to grow this way they're going to build bone the bones going to grow this way and what you get are these ossification centers and they begin to elongate and they begin to look like this. Look, here's our ossification center right there. There's our osteoblast. They're building bone. These are those trap cells. What are those? What are these that are trapped on the inside? Osteocytes. That's right. But these are not trapped on the inside. They're on the surface. There's plenty of space for them to build bone. And so the bone is going to get longer. And it begins to look on like a spiky kind of look on it. It's called a spicule. So the whole thing is this sort of a spiky bone thing called a spicule. And the spicules begin to grow toward each other. So look, that's growing this way, and this is growing this way, and that's growing this way. And eventually, 
this is what it's going to look like. So then now there's a spicule, and there's a spicule, and there's a spicule, and so on. And look, they're growing. Over here's our membrane. And over here's the edge of the membrane. We can't grow past that. There's our membrane over there. We can grow this way, but we can't go past the edge of the membrane because it has to stay inside the membrane. But again, here are osteoblasts, and there are osteocytes. And these are going to keep growing. These are going to maintain. And eventually what's going to happen is these things are going to run into each other. So look, this spicule ran into this one. This spicule ran into that one and so on. And it begins to look like it's woven. It begins to look like spongy bone. But here's our membrane. And that's the edge of the membrane. You can't go past it because there's nothing out there. There are no osteo, I mean, no me mesenchyme cells. So when you get to the edge, the only way to grow is like this. The only way to grow is horizontally like this. And what's going to happen is all of these spicules that are growing this way and all the ones that are growing this way, they're going to merge and we're going to get a solid plate of bone. So we wind up with, on the surface, a solid plate of bone. It's compact bone. But in the middle here, they don't have to run into each other the same way. And so we get spongy bone. But there's still a membrane here. Look, here's our membrane. But guess what? Now we have two layers to this membrane. There's this layer. The very edge, that's still this fibrous membrane. But now there's this layer too. This isn't bone. These are those osteoblasts. That's the osteogenic layer. So what happens is we create this periosteum. So we have two layers, a fibrous periosteum, and an osteogenic periosteum, just like we talked about last time. All bones have these two layered membrane around them. Again, periosteum. In here, although they don't show it, there's still osteoblasts here. But this is the membrane on the inside, and there's no fibrous part. It's just these osteoblasts. Anybody remember what this membrane is called? It's not periosteum. What is it? Endosteum, exactly. And so look, what we wound up with is a flat bone. And that's how flat bones grow. So if you look at it, here's it is. There's our spicules in here. Here are these osteoblasts that are laying down bone. And here's what it is, sort of stages it is. So we go from this to this. And then we're going to have a bunch of these. So there's one, there's one, there's one. They begin to grow in all directions. Some cells are going to get trapped on the inside and they're going to become osteoblasts. This thing's going to keep growing and we get these spicules and the spicules run into each other. But when they get to the edge of the membrane, look, they fill in the gaps because they can't grow any further out. And so we're going to get a solid layer of bone here. Same thing on the other side. So it's going to wind up looking like this, which is a flat bone. And we're going to keep part of the membrane, and we're going to keep the osteoblast, so that's going to become our periosteum. Osteoblasts are going to stay in here, so that's going to become our endosteum. They're going to look like that. 
Any questions about it? So any condition where this bond formation does not take place during pregnancy. Well, there are weird diseases where you, um, things happen or they don't happen correctly. So you can have overgrowth or undergrowth of bones, but they're not very common. Most fetuses wouldn't survive. So you would have a miscarriage or a failed pregnancy um, if you had issues like that. Any other questions? So look, we wind up with a flat bone. So out here is the membrane. So there's our periosteum out here, two layers. In here's the endosteum, one layer. Here's this plate of solid bone because the bone had got to the edge and it had to grow this way and this way. But in here we wind up with spongy bone. And that's exactly what a flat bone looks like. But there aren't that many flat bones in the body. There are the bones of the skull, the ribs, the sternum, the clavicles, but that's about it. That still leaves all of the bones of the limbs. So that leaves every bone in your arm and your legs and your feet and your hands. It leaves the hips and so on. Those are going to have to form a different way because they're not flat. And so these are going to form by this endochondral ossification. And again, if you look at this fetus, the ones that look solid are the ones that form this way. And if we blow it up, there's our endochondral bones. But look at this. The bone actually is supposed to extend from here to here. But look, that's not bone. And that's not bone. So if you look at this, does it look to you like the bone forms from the ends and grows toward the middle? Or does it look to you like the bone forms in the middle and grows toward the ends? Which way does it look like to you? The middle to the outside, that's exactly right. So when we look at these bones, every single one of them, this is where the bone is going to start and it's going to grow this way. And it's going to grow this way. And it's going to keep growing. This We haven't made it any further, but it's going to keep growing. Same thing here. Look, it started there, and it's growing this way, and it's growing this way. This one started there, and it's growing this way, and it's growing this way. So endochondral ossification starts in the middle, and it's going to grow toward the ends. But again, it's endochondral which means that before we make any bone, we have to make cartilage. So we're going to make cartilage first. The cartilage that's made is hyaline cartilage. So what we're going to do is we're going to make a model of the bone out of hyaline cartilage. And what we're going to do then is we're going to actually destroy the cartilage and replace it with bone. And it's going to happen from the middle toward the ends. And then the cartilage is going to keep growing. So this thing is going to get longer. But we're still going to be building bone. So we're going to build bone and it's going to go that way. And we're going to build bone and it's going to go this way. And we're going to keep making it longer. The cartilage is going to continue to grow. But so is the bone. It's going to grow. But remember, it grows from the middle toward the end. And so it's going to wind up looking like this. And if you look at this, or maybe just a little bit longer. So we start here, and all of this is bone. And all of this is bone. 
but this is cartilage and this is cartilage if we go back and look at our picture look there's where the bone started but this is what the shape is right here this is cartilage and this is cartilage so what happened is we made a model of the bone out of cartilage and then the bone started growing in the middle and grew this way and this way and it's going to continue to grow but the cartilage is going to grow too and then the bone is going to grow and then the cartilage is going to grow and so the thing's going to get longer and longer and longer so it looks something like this so there's our model made out of cartilage look there's no bone in there whatsoever remember no bone cells until we hit eight weeks so eight weeks this is going to happen bone is going to grow and it grows here in the middle here's bone and then it's going to grow this way and this way and you can see it's getting longer but the cartilage also gets longer so let's look at it in a little more detail so here it is there's our cartilage model again no bone until we hit eight weeks so this is all cartilage, all cartilage. But the eighth week, bone cells are going to develop, and then it's going to grow. So let's look at it. So here we are. We have this cartilage model. No bone, but it has a perichondrium around it. Remember, cartilage has a membrane around it, and this is where blood vessels are. Remember, it's where nerves are. Well, not only are there blood vessels and nerves in here, there are mesenchyme cells, just like we saw that other time. And what's going to happen is in the middle part of this perichondrium, right in this area right here, mesenchyme cells are going to turn into osteoblasts. What do osteoblasts do? Do you remember? Osteoblasts build bone. So look, we're going to lay down bone all in this membrane here. So all of this is going to turn into bone. Now the way it's drawn, it looks flat, but remember this is three-dimensional. So in reality, the bone goes all the way around. So it's also bone this way, all the way around, like this. It forms what's called a collar. So look, there's a collar of bone all the way around this structure. But in the middle is cartilage. So in the center here is cartilage. But look, the blood vessels out here. There's bone here, this collar of bone. And the cartilage can't get any blood, can't get any nutrition. So what do you think is going to happen to this cartilage when it can't get any nutrition? What happens to anything when it can't get any nutrition? It dies. That's exactly right. What's going to happen is it's going to swell up. It's going to become calcified, and then it's going to die. And what's going to happen when it dies is it's going to leave a cavity. There's going to be a space that forms in here, and we can see it. There's that space, that cavity. So look, now this bone, remember, it's a collar. It goes all the way around. And it's hollow in the middle. There's a cavity. But just like this cartilage grew, this cartilage is going to grow. So look, that 
is longer. That's because the cartilage grew. And it's going to get even longer because the cartilage is going to continue to grow. And so this cartilage is going to grow. But at the same time, the bone is going to grow this way and this way. And everywhere the bone grows, the cartilage is going to calcify, it's going to swell up, and it's going to die. And it's going to be replaced by bone. So if I look at this structure, look at it. It's cartilage on the ends. So this is cartilage. It's cartilage on this end. But in the middle, it's bone. But the cartilage is going to keep growing. And the bone is going to keep growing. And this is going to continue all the way until right around the time of birth. So right around the time of birth, this is what it's going to look like. But then something else is going to happen. Blood vessels are going to invade the ends. So look, they're going to go in here. And what's going to happen when those blood vessels come in here is bone is going to form here as well. So if you look at it, it's like this. Look, this is bone. And this is bone. There's still cartilage, but here there's only a thin layer of cartilage. And that thin layer of cartilage is going to form what's called articular cartilage. Remember, all long bones are covered in cartilage. And then there's a thin layer of cartilage here. And that continues to grow. It becomes what's called the growth plate or the epiphyseal plate. And so what's going to happen is all the future growth of this bone is going to happen here. It's going to happen at the growth plate. And what's going to happen is cartilage is going to grow and the bone is going to go behind it. So if we look at it right around the time of birth, it looks like this. And look how wide this is. But if you look later on, it looks like this. And what's going to happen is it's going to keep growing all the way through childhood, all the way through puberty, all the way through adulthood. But remember, as this is growing, the bone is chasing it. Here comes the bone right behind it. And eventually what's going to happen is the bone is going to catch up with the cartilage. And the cartilage is going to disappear. It's all going to become bone. What do you think happens then? What happens when you all that cartilage is replaced with bone? What happens to you? Anybody want to guess? Remember, the cartilage has to grow first. So what if there's no cartilage? What's going to happen? What's going to happen is you stop growing. You don't get any taller. So if we go back and look at it again. Remember it starts here like this. All cartilage. And then here the eighth week of gestation bone cells develop. And they develop in the middle. The cartilage continues to grow. So the whole thing gets longer. And now the bone is going to begin to chase it. So for the rest of pregnancy, this is what's happening. But right around the time of birth, we go from looking like this 
what's going to happen is blood vessels are going to invade here and it's going to look like this. As soon as the blood vessel invades it, this becomes bone. And so now what we're left with is bone here, bone here, and the only place there's cartilage is on the end. Again, that becomes articular cartilage. And then here, which becomes the growth plate. And so bone continues to chase cartilage. Cartilage grows, but the bone is chasing it. But as soon as the bone catches the cartilage and there's no cartilage left, then you stop growing. Does that make sense? So if we go all the way back to this other slide, you can kind of see here's where it starts. And this is finally, basically, right? This is what it's going to be until you reach your adult height. Again, same thing here. There's our model, no bone. But now look, we have bone here and here. Cartilage continues to grow. That's what happens all the way through pregnancy. But right around the time of birth, this is going to happen. The ends are going to develop bone. And here is where all the future growth has to happen. That's our epiphyseal plate, our growth plate. But what happens is the cartilage grows and the bone chases it. So if I look at this epiphyseal plate, in the beginning it's this wide. But look, here's bone chasing it. The cartilage is still growing, but the bone's chasing it. So as you get older, look what happens. It gets thinner because the bone is slowly catching up with the cartilage. And you get a little older and it gets even thinner. But the bone is chasing it. It's catching up with the cartilage. But eventually what's going to happen is it's going to catch up completely. And there's going to be no cartilage left. And that's when you've reached your adult height. So look at the thickness of this epiphyseal plate. And look at the thickness of this epiphyseal plate. So you actually can kind of look at this and measure it. And you can actually sort of estimate how much growth a person has left before they stop growing. Does that make sense? Can everybody follow this through? Here's another view, same thing. So there, no cartilage. I mean, sorry, no bone, all cartilage. Here is where we get our first bone cells. It happens right in the middle. Cartilage grows. Bone chases it. Same thing all the way through pregnancy. And then here's what happens around the time of birth. So we wind up with this cartilage up here, which is going to become articular cartilage. And we wind up with this cartilage here, which is going to become the epiphyseal plate. And that's where growth happens. All the way until you reach your adult height. Any questions? So if we look at this epiphyseal plate, we should be able to see on one side cartilage growing. Because that's what happens on this side over here. Up here, that's what happens. Cartilage is growing. But if we look on this side, we should be able to see bone growing. That's our epiphyseal plate. We're going to look at it in more detail in a minute. But there it is, right there. And again, this is going to continue all the way until you reach here where there's all the bone has been removed. 
I mean, so all the bone has turned or gotten rid of all the cartilage. There's no cartilage. And so that's when bone growth is going to stop. This is called the epiphyseal plate. But after all the cartilage is removed and it's just bone, it's called the epiphyseal line. So you can still see where it was. Any questions? So look, week nine, we've got bone growing here. Cartilage grows this way and this way. Amen? Remember this cartilage in here is going to die. And a cavity is going to form. This continues to grow, and this continues to grow. The bone is going to chase. It's going to grow toward the end. So cartilage, bone. Keeps going. Right around the time of birth, Blood vessels invade the end, so we're going to get bone here and bone here. So we're going to wind up with this thin layer of cartilage up here and this layer of cartilage right here. This is going to become articular, and that's our growth plate. There's the growth plate right there. And then... All future growth happens right here. And on this end, cartilage is growing. But bone is chasing it. And eventually it's going to catch it and bone growth stops. So here's a nice summary slide. So when you're studying, you can come back to this because it has all the stages right here, one all the way. It tells you what's going on. Same thing here. So look, this is that epiphyseal plate. So on one side is cartilage. On the other side is bone. So we should be able to pick out that because here's cartilage and here's bone. So when we look at it, that's where this is happening. So cartilage is growing here and bone is chasing it. Any questions? So, I hope you got some idea about how bones develop. But they keep growing. But look at this slide. So, you might think this is a father and a son, but you're not. It's not. Both these guys are in their 30s. But this guy is like 8 feet tall. Whereas this guy, who's in his 30s, is less than three feet tall. So something had to make this guy short and make this guy tall. There's something that's affecting bone growth. And so let's talk about the things that affect bone growth. Well, remember bones, like cartilages, grow two different ways. And they have the exact same names. So remember when we talked about cartilage, we had cartilage. We said that if you add cartilage onto the existing surface, we use that analogy of that bed, so it's like a mattress pad. Remember that's appositional growth. But if it grows down inside, if it's happening inside the cartilage, it's interstitial growth. Well, that's exactly the same way it's happened here because... Remember, we're going to grow cartilage before we grow bone. And so we're going to have 
appositional growth. And we're going to have interstitial growth. So what appositional growth is, is it's going to make the bone bigger in diameter. It's going to make it get larger in diameter. And we've already talked about how this happens. Remember we talked about how you can make the outside bigger because there's a membrane here. Remember we have that osteogenic layer. And it can look like that. It can also shrink, so it can look like that. But again, it's because of osteoblasts and osteoclasts. But bones also get longer. And that, we've already talked about it a little bit, happens at the epiphyseal plate. So bones grow two ways. They get longer, and that happens at the epiphyseal plate. But they also get bigger in diameter or smaller in diameter. And that happens out here. It happens at the periosteum. So let's look at these two ways that bones grow after birth. Let's look at interstitial growth first. Remember, this is growth in length. They're going to get longer. And it happens at this epiphyseal plate. So we already looked at the epiphyseal plate a little bit. There it is. And we already know that on this side, cartilage is growing. And on this side, bone is chasing it. So if we look at this epiphyseal plate, we can see cartilage over here. And we can see bone over here. Well, when we do look at it, we can actually pick out different zones. And there are four zones, five if you include what's called the resting zone. And so we can see these five zones. Resting zone, really nothing's happening there. Proliferation zone, that's where cartilage is growing like crazy. So the cartilage grows. But then we're going to see the cartilage begin to change. It's going to swell up. It's going to become calcified. And it's going to die. And then what's going to happen is bone is going to grow in the space. So if we go back here, there's a zone, there's a zone, there's a zone. We'll see them as we go through here. So there's a resting zone, proliferation zone, hypertrophic zone, calcified zone, and then ossification zone. Well, we can't see that here. We need to blow this growth plate up in order to see it. There's the growth plate again. And if we blow it up, it looks like this. So look, I can, without knowing anything about it, I can tell that this right here is different from this. So this is one, that's two. And then look what's happening. I can see that this is different from that. And then here, that's different. And then finally, we wind up with that. So there are these five zones in here. So if we blow that up even more, it's going to look a little bit like this. Here are our zones. So cartilage is growing here, remember, and bone is growing here. And if we go back, cartilage is growing here, and bone is growing here. Cartilage is growing here. It's on the epiphyseal side. And bone is growing here on the diaphyseal side. So let's blow this up and look at it even more. When we do, we're going to see these different zones. So remember, there's this resting zone or quiet zone. And here, we're going to get growth. That's the proliferation zone. Here. They're going to swell up, and they're going to calcify, and they're going to die, and then we're going to replace it with bone. 
So when we look at it, it looks like this. So there's the quiet zone, the resting zone. There's the growth, the proliferation zone. There's where they're swelling up, and there's where calcification is happening. And then here's where new bone is growing. Again, resting zone, proliferation zone, hypertrophic zone, calcification zone, and then ossification zone. Make sense? Can everybody see all these zones? Can everybody see them? So look at this one. It doesn't have any labels on it. So, first of all, try to orient yourself. Which side is the epiphysis? Is it the left side or the right side? Which side is the epiphysis? It's over here. It's the left side. It's the epiphysis. Which side is the diaphysis? Well, that's the right side over here. And so it's not going up and down like we've been looking at it. It's going left to right. But you should be able to pick out the zones. So look, there's the first zone right there. That's this resting zone. There's the proliferation zone right there. There's the hypertrophic zone. And then here's the ossification, sorry, calcification zone. And then finally, the ossification zone. Can everybody do that? Everybody see all the zones? You might get a slide like this on a quiz or on a lab test or on a lecture test. Not lab test, sorry. Everybody see it? Can everybody do it? You can always go back and look at this. But remember, Here's the middle of the bone right here. So this is solid bone right here. This is the ends of the bone and the ends of the bone, which means that the bone is going to grow this way because that's where the cartilage is growing, and it's going to grow this way, and then the bone is going to chase it. Make sense? Looks like that. Any questions? So, again, this side, cartilage is growing. So it gets longer. This side, the cartilage is being replaced by bone. Well, as this gets longer, the bone is going to get longer. But, remember this? is going to get thinner as you get older. So this is going to begin to get thinner as you get older. And eventually it's going to disappear completely. Okay, any questions? So what I want to do is take a real short break here. We'll take about a 10 minute break and then we can come back. Everybody go to the restroom, get a drink of water or something like that.